challenge that we have is we're inconsistent. So even with South Africa, Tanzanians don't need visas to go to South Africa, okay? Uh, but my friend was Ugandan living in the UK who goes to South Africa all, you know, every year and has been doing so for decades, still needs to get a visa. So and that's an East African country. So I think that there are deeper issues that we need to look into and um, unfortunately, we, we are working with AFDB, for example, to do some mapping um, to present this to our leadership and just say, look, you know, whatever policies, whether it's, you, it's fundraising or whether it's political, it is inconsistent. So through the AU's framework, can you introduce some standards and harmonize this just to make it easier for the integration to actually work? With respect to the African Union, I think we shouldn't bash it totally. It does do some good, and one of the things that it has done well is to help move forward, first of all, creating some unity around policies, creating common programs, for example, the Comprehensive African Agricultural Development Program that makes it easier for other non-state actors to engage with the state so you don't have to negotiate with 54 governments. You don't need to negotiate with 54 parliaments to figure out what your priorities are <laughs> in the country that you're in or in any other country that you want to do business in. Um, and we've seen this work in practice where, again, by leveraging these CADE programs and national programs, we have been able to bring together the private sector um, as well as working in concert with development partners to see if we can work with smallholder farmers to move this agenda forward. So it does, it can do some good. Let's just build on those uh, early successes and do more.